Hello, everyone. My name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Heart. Today, we are going to be talking about giving the gift of paper pumpkin this year, or if you plan to share your paper pumpkin kit um, with somebody that you love or somebody that you know would enjoy these little monthly crafting um, subscription boxes. So today we're not actually going to be putting together a craft project, but if you want to learn more about Paper Pumpkin, I'm gonna be walking you through that today. And I'm also gonna be showing you some ideas for how you can make giving the gift of Paper Pumpkin even easier for your recipients this year so that you can set them up for success. Um, any crafter or stamper who subscribes to Paper Pumpkin or who receives Paper Pumpkin and absolutely loves it, we know what to do with these kits. And the kits are easy to understand. There's instructions right in there. Paper Pumpkin um, Stampin' Up, they actually provide videos every month as to how to assemble the kits. And there are countless demonstrators out there who love Paper Pumpkin, including myself, who do tutorials on how to assemble the kits as they were designed. And then we also create a lot of fun alternate projects for you. But one thing that I have not really talked with you about that much, or one thing that I haven't really shown you, is what I do when I share or gift my paper pumpkin kits. So in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is when I order, when, when as a subscriber, I order multiple kits, when you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, any Paper Pumpkin subscriber can up the number of kits that they receive a month. And for September 2020, I knew I was going to be ordering more kits than normal because I was going to be breaking up the kits and sharing them with some people that I thought might enjoy making them this year. Okay, so that gave me the idea to do this today because I don't actually talk about or film this type of thing that much. Um, but if the person who's receiving the paper pumpkin kit is creative or crafty, but has never seen the kit before, there are ways that we can kind of make that a little easier on them from the start. And that's totally optional. But the particular option that I'm going to be talking about today when I talk about gifting or sharing is when I, as a subscriber, increase the number of my kits. So let's say I order four or five or six kits. They all ship to my home. And then I have an opportunity to work with those kits before I ship them out to my intended recipients. Okay. There are ways that you can actually just subscribe and send the, the box directly to um, your gift recipient, or you could do prepaid codes and order and then they can insert their prepaid code into the website. So there are other options if you're planning to gift Paper Pumpkin, but this is the option where I actually get the extra kits myself. They ship to me, I repackage them and then send them out. And I'm gonna show you what that process looks like. But before I do that, let's actually take a look at the Paper Pumpkin website. So I'm just gonna share my screen. So let, let's, let's start at the menu. So you have the subscribe option, how Paper Pumpkin works, about, you have your login option. So this is for the US. If we go ahead and click subscribe, it's gonna have you add in your information. Here is where you can bump up the number of kits that you're planning on getting each month, okay? You can do month to month subscriptions, you could do prepaid subscriptions where you could get some savings if you did prepaid for three, six, or 12 months. Um, if you have a promo code or if you get a prepaid code, this is where you would enter it. Okay, now here are the monthly unboxing videos from the Paper Pumpkin teams themselves, which is really nice. And all of these videos are the ones that were pre-designed in the kit. So if you decide I'm going to send this September paper pumpkin kit to my neighbor or to my mom or, you know, whoever it is that you're sending it to, you can actually direct them to go and check out the video. Or if the demonstrator that you purchase um, your paper pumpkin subscriptions from 
also does paper pumpkin videos, you can refer to that demonstrator on YouTube or their blog or wherever it is that you would go to check out their information on paper pumpkin. Okay, so that's just something that I wanted to make you aware of. So under the How Paper Pumpkin Works page, it gives you the information on how this works. It gives you the information about return and replacement. You can also um, suspend or cancel your account at any time. You have control because you create an account and a login with the Paper Pumpkin website, okay? But they'll ask you to select a demonstrator. So just depending. So if you don't already have a demonstrator and you're interested in signing up for Paper Pumpkin, I would love for you to sign up with me. If you already have a demonstrator, that is okay choose them as your demonstrator, and then you'll get your paper pumpkin subscription through that demonstrator, okay? And anytime you have questions about this, you can reach out and ask your demonstrator. That is one of the perks of having one. So I just wanted to let you know that too, okay? So that's just a little bit about the paper pumpkin website. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful for you. I just wanted to do that little intro because I had never really had an opportunity to show you the website or walk through that. Now, if you are watching a YouTube video or if you're on somebody's blog and you see an option under that demonstrator's page or YouTube channel or wherever you are, there's almost always a redirect for Paper Pumpkin. So what I mean by that is, and let me share again. So we're on my YouTube channel now, okay? And I'm just going to click on my most recent video. So I have an alternate video up for the September 2020 Paper Pumpkin Kit. And I'm just going to click that here. I also have um, a playlist for all of my Paper Pumpkin videos, if you're interested, if you didn't already know. Okay. But whenever you go to somebody's, let me, I'm going to... Um, know if it's going to let me mute this or not. Let me see. Sorry, <laughs> you're hearing my, my voice twice. Okay, so let me just go down here. All right, so whenever you are underneath the video, right here, there's an option to show more. And what we do is when we're setting up our videos and our descriptions, we include links. Okay, so if you wanted to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, Okay, if you click that, I already have that preset so that I am your demonstrator and you don't have to select one. Now, if you were on a different demonstrator's YouTube channel and it was a paper pumpkin video that they were doing, then when you would click their link, it would take you to their demonstrator page. So I just wanted to make you aware of that so that you know that you have the right person selected and you're confident in your paper pumpkin subscription. But however you choose to do this, you'll end up in the right place. The most important thing is that you're loving your paper pumpkin kits. And when we love something, we want to share it. And if we get a kit and we get excited about it and we get to put together a bunch of cards or tree boxes really quickly and they're adorable, and we're like, oh my gosh, I know somebody who's going to love this. You know, I'm, I'm going to get them a gift or I'm going to send them a kit, you know, and just see if that is their thing. If it's not, it's okay. If it is, then you can help them, guide them as they put together their first kit. The next part of this is walking you through some ideas and tips that I wanted to share with you um, for packaging up a paper pumpkin kit to kind of set your recipient up for success. This is entirely optional. If you want to take that box, it is ready to go, right? So you can just literally send the box to whoever your gift recipient is and they can open it and assemble it. Now, the one thing that I want to say, the one thing, whenever you sign up to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber for the first time, you actually get a block, a stamping block included with your kit. You only get it once. And this is something that you use with every single stamp set that you get with Paper Pumpkin. Now, most likely, if the person that you are sending the Paper Pumpkin Kit 2 is already a crafter but just hasn't tried Paper Pumpkin yet or they're already a stamper and they haven't tried Paper Pumpkin yet, they most likely will have a clear block, 
okay? But if they don't, and you want to make sure that they have one, I just want to make you aware that when you do this type of gifting where you order extra kits under your subscription, you're not going to get paper pumpkin blocks in those kits. So if you feel like you need to include one, then that's something that you want to keep in mind. Now, if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can order extra kit. You can order extra. If you are a paper pumpkin demonstrator, you can actually order extra paper pumpkin blocks. Um, that was something that I wanted to check to see if that's something you can do on the website. I don't know if you can, but if you can't, we have a very similar block. Okay, this is um, stamp block D, clear block D, that if you go to stampinup.com or if you have extras, and of course, if you have a ton of clear blocks and you just wanna send one of your own, you can do that. I just want to make you aware that if you are gifting paper pumpkin in this way, where you're getting the box first and then sending it off to them, you want to be sure that they have that clear block. Then these are some ideas for how you can get that clear block in there. Okay. So let's talk about, let's talk about the packaging. Okay. So when you get the paper pumpkin kit, you can open it up. And one thing that I like to do is package little individual packages of what the projects are. So you can take a post-it, take a pen or a marker, and you can write project one, project two. For September, they're treat boxes, okay? And the treat boxes, there are 20 of them. There are 20 of them. So there's actually a variety of different ways because of the number of embellishments that are in this kit that you can decorate these little cracker boxes. But you can get them started by breaking it down into little packages. One thing that I really like for that are these six by eight cellophane bags. Um, I'll put pictures up on the screen. But when you see the six by eight cellophane bags, that is something that is available in our annual catalog that you can purchase. And the six by eight bags fit perfectly. They fit like a glove into the paper pumpkin box. So you could either do it by project. So let's just, I'm talking about this month. So let's just say we're gonna do two different versions of the cracker box. Project one would be the version where you're looking at the orange and white stripe side, and you're gonna include some um, Halloween embellishments, the witch's hat, the cat. And then the other one, is that um, that fall checker theme side, and you're going to put the fall leaves and the pumpkins and you know all of those different embellishments in that one, and you will just break it in half and you'll list it as project one or project two. The other thing that you could do, let's say that you're sending this to another family, so you're going to be doing some social distance crafting, right? You're going to be crafting over Zoom or you'll do a FaceTime call and you'll all get together virtually to put together your kit and you're sending it to the family. You could do, I'm just going to say recipient one and recipient two, but you plug in the names of the people that are going to be getting the kit. You can also take those six by eight cellophane bags, put their name right on the bag so that they know this is their project. This is their project. This is their project. And you have flexibility here. So you can actually put just one single project in or you can break up the kit. So for September, for example, there are 20 treat boxes. You, If it's for two, um, two family members or for two kids that you're sending it to to put together for Halloween for trick-or-treaters, you can split them 10 and 10, slide them into the bags and include the embellishments and things, or you could break it down five, for however it works for you. And that's, of course, if you want them to get all of the contents that came in that box. If you want to break the box up so that it's going to multiple people, the one thing that you just want to keep in mind is there's only one stamp set and there's only one stamp and spot. Now, if you're ordering multiples, you might have multiple stamp sets and you might have multiple stamp and spots, which we'll get to in just a moment. But Let's just say that the paper pumpkin box that you're gifting is just going to one location, but maybe several people are going to be sharing it. That's another great way to package it so that when they open up that box and they see their stamp set and they see their, um, their little stamp and spot, their little ink spot, 
and then they see, oh, look at these little prepackaged pieces. You can have all of the extras underneath the prepackaged six by eight cellophane bags. And what they could do is start easy. So when they take the project out that you've already packaged for them in the six by eight bags, that's just gonna make it a little bit simpler for them. They have everything right in front of them. All they need to do is open up their stamp and spot, ink their stamp and stamp. And then all they have to do is assemble it. So other ideas that I have um, that I thought that you might enjoy and this might not be for everyone, but if you are feeling adventurous, um, what you could do is split up the adhesive. So you get a lot of adhesive, particularly in the September 2020 kit. You get adhesive strips, you get adhesive dots, and you also get stamp and dimensionals. You can break those up. So if you know that you're going to be doing four six by eight cellophane bags, and you're gonna be pre-bagging their embellishments for them and their projects for them, you could actually do their little section of the adhesive so that nobody's fighting over how much adhesive they get. They should all have enough of their own dimensionals, their own adhesive dots and their own strips. If you want to add more, you can do that, um, but that's entirely up to you. And I'll get to adding extras in just a moment. Um, so another thing that you could do is pre-cut their, uh, whatever the embellishment is. So if you have a kit that either has twine or ribbon, um, you could do that too. You can pre-cut their ribbon for them. You can pre-cut their twine for them. And I wouldn't say that you would have to cut up the entire roll. Um, but if you're setting them up with their first two projects by pre-packaging their first couple of projects to get them started, then cut enough of the twine. So for this one, you would want to cut two pieces of, of twine per cracker box. So make sure that you have two for one cracker box and you can tuck that right inside the six by eight bag too. Okay, so now let's talk about adding extras. One thing that I think is absolutely adorable for adding extras, and this is if you are adding your own block, um, if you are adding your own clear block for the gift that you're sending or you, you've purchased several blocks and you're gonna be sending several blocks, I really like the um, three by one eighth and three by one eighth acetate card boxes. They are really cute and they are actually the perfect size to fit mini dimensionals. So if you already have extras left over from other kits, which every Paper Pumpkin subscriber who gets multiple kits a year, I promise you, we all have extra adhesive dots. We all have extra mini dimensionals We because we get so much in each kit each month. We always have leftovers. This is a great way to surprise your recipient with some, some extras. But one thing that I would say is if you're trying to introduce them to a paper pumpkin kit, let them know what you're adding that's extra. That's why I like these little clear acetate boxes because if you're gonna give them a few extra goodies, just be sure that they understand what they get in a paper pumpkin kit versus what you're adding is that little extra. So they know what the kit provides in case they decide they want to start getting paper pumpkin kits or they want to um, do kits monthly with you. Um, or if you want them to know, I just added this little extra bit for you. And some of my favorite add-ons, if you do want to do that, because I have plenty of extras every year, are the Stampin' Spots. So Stampin' Spots are a great addition that you can add and they fit perfectly in those little clear acetate boxes. The mini dimensionals will fit in those little mini clear acetate boxes. The paper pumpkin block, even clear block D will fit in there, I think. But you know what? Let me just double check myself. Clear block D might be a little too thick or if it does fit, it might be the only thing that fits in there. But Whichever way that you choose to um, package up your items, just put a little bit of ribbon around it. You can tuck a three by three card in there. Um, however you wanna make it cute, just let them know that this little extra box is from me, but it will go perfectly with what's included in your paper pumpkin kit. Um, I just think that that makes it so nice. A few other add-ons that I really love, um, and of course this is age appropriate, is if you would wanna gift them 
the paper snips, which are our um, precision scissors. They are wonderful to use with your paper pumpkin kits every month. Extra adhesive is always fun. I in particular love either the multi-purpose glue or the um, tear and tape is a nice little addition. If you want to give them something sparkly, you could always include a little package of sequins or our, week, our Wink of Stella pen. Those are great little gifts that you can include for anybody who's getting started with Paper Pumpkin because it adds so much to a kit. The kits on their own are really cute and they're completely self-sufficient. That's the whole thing that they're designed for. But when you're sending it to somebody and you know that that particular person loves glitter or they love sparkle or they love gems, then you can send them that little extra too. The last thing is just giving them words of encouragement. So let's just say that you are not going to be crafting with them. You're not going to be connecting um, via the internet or you're not going to be in person with them, laying everything out to put together, you know, as a family or as a group. If you're not going to be able to assemble the kits with them or you're not going to be able to see the reactions on their faces when they open the box or when they get their first project completed, you know, um, or when they give it to somebody. So one of my favorite things, especially about the September box, is seeing the trick-or-treaters getting the super cute packaging because they're used to getting the candy, but they're not used to getting these super cute little crafty packages that have the candy in them. So, you know, if you're not going to get to see those reactions, but you know that it's going to happen, just maybe tuck in a note or just give them little, you know, words of encouragement and let them know that it's so simple and it's so easy and they can do this and they're going to absolutely love their kit. And if for whatever reason <laughs> they don't love their kit, you could always tell them to either pass it on or share that with somebody that would. So um, that's going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you liked this paper pumpkin um, sort of mini tutorial on how to gift or share your kit. I hope that you enjoyed the ideas. Um, let me know, are you a Paper Pumpkin subscriber? And if so, have you ever shared or gifted a Paper Pumpkin kit this way? Um, I would love to hear it. And I would love to hear your ideas or how you share your kits. Do you have anything special that you do um, when you share a kit? I would love to know. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. If you love crafting tutorials or if you love paper pumpkin videos, um, click the like button. If you liked or if you felt like you learned anything from this particular video, if you're comfortable leaving a comment, I would love to have you do that. Interacting with you is my absolute favorite thing about having this channel. And if you're comfortable sharing, if you know anybody who does this, who gives a lot of their paper pumpkin gifts away, um, then share it with them. I'm sure that they would enjoy the video too. All right. Thank you so much and have a great day.